All right, so this is one of those things that I was talking about. You can see here, all right, there's the temperature. I don't have the heat on or anything, but I've got a fire over here. So when the fire's going there, it heats up the whole box. So I am gonna light this side because I'm getting ready to put some potatoes on. Right, again. All single push button for all three burners. Get that thing lit. All right, so we'll get those guys going over there. Uh, I've got some corn over here. It's just sitting in the firebox. So it does the same exact thing here. All right, and close that down. That gets nice and warm. So get the corn up to temperature after being in the refrigerator. I've got this going. So what I'm going to do here is turn that down a little bit until I'm ready to put my fish on. All right, get my flame adjusted. So you've got one, you know, I'm gonna let my air in and then this is basically letting heat out. So you can see whenever I drop that down, you see just how quickly that rises. So just open this up. And eventually, and get it to where I want it there. So, a lot of adjustments, a lot of configurations you can use this thing in. Uh, I still have a burner over here if I wanted to boil something. Uh, you know, perfect. It's perfect for me. It's perfect for a lot of people. Um, you just gotta use it and, and try to figure out how it works best for you. So, I'm gonna get these potatoes going and bring them up to about 450 degrees. Right, and then I usually do my potatoes probably uh, probably about 40 minutes at that temperature. So, last 20 minutes I'll start throwing burgers and things on. I'll get the fish going on on this side and uh, get that all nice and crisp up. Crisp up. And then uh, same time I put the burgers on, I'll throw the, the corn on on this side. So, I was in the garage right now and I thought of another modification. Alright, see you there. It was made for it. Alright. Now it feels like I'm grilling. I was going to put my Green Bay Packers koozie on there, but I didn't really want to offend that many people on this barbecue. It's not easy being the best. But somebody's got to do it. You can hear those potatoes really going now. Just gonna flip them. All right, now I'm maintaining a, a solid 450 degrees over here. I don't have anything on this side. I'm at about the same temperature, about 475. Uh, I still have my corn over here. It's getting nice and warm. It's almost ready to be put on the coals. Right, and through the power of editing, uh, you don't have to wait around like I do. You see, you see my potatoes over here running a little hot. So normally, without this side going, see over here, I'm at almost 450 degrees, about 425. Over here, I'm at about 525. So typically, I can run every burner down low and maintain that 400 degrees. But I think since I have this side going on also, it's just heating everything up. And so what I'm gonna do is, I've got my potatoes on that side over there. So I'm just gonna turn that burner off. And I think that'll bring everything back down to temp. So we'll just see, I might only need to run you know the middle burner so we'll, we'll see how that goes so you can see with that one burner off it dropped it back down to uh, about 475 which I can live with that this side over here is cooking at 425 so just gotta keep turning the corn it's about all there is to it all right you know what time it is here's burger time what time is it? It's time for burgers. It doesn't really rhyme very well. 
Whoa, look at these fish swimming on in the frame. If you're curious on how I caught these, there is a video on what I did. So be sure to check that out. All right. Now, the fun part about grilling those is now my door doesn't shut. So just part of it. Just open up the firebox. Get some more burn going. Close. I don't want to close that down too much because then it'll start coming out this way. But just keep those over the heat. They'll cook in their own due time. What time is it? It's time to get grilled. See, that's that's a whole lot better. Or if you're a fan of any of the Beastie Boys stuff. My name is JP. I got a license to grill, right? That's even better. I'm gonna flip this now. Oh yeah, now we're, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're cooking with gas. Maybe that's where this comes from. Or that, that saying comes from. Maybe somebody bought one of these Oklahoma Joe's Longhorn grills and that's what they came up with after they'd been cooking on this side. Now we're cooking with gas. Maybe not. I bet you the Google would figure it out for us. Woohoo. beer system brought me one of these. I don't know. I don't know if she's going to make it. Millennials. While we're waiting, I see you guys all eyeballing my goodies over here. These are my grapes. Look at that. One day, I'm gonna run a trellis right here actually because I used to all just let it hang down over here but I uh, tried, tried lighting on fire so can't have that can we watch huh. Don't get your nose too close what I've just done is I cranked this other burner over here all the way up and now I have those guys going in case you're wondering why they're a weird looking color, it's partly because the Worcestershire sauce and the butter that I've added to them. Oh, and the one egg. Keep everything going. Keep it all together. So, now what I'm trying to do is get those grill marks, bud. And it's working. All right, so we gotta see where we are. I think it's about the time to start pulling things off. Ooh, -hoo, those are looking mighty tasty. I feel bad. You guys can't see what's going on over here. I'm fighting a flame. I'm a fireman. Ooh. -hoo. The best part's a flare up. All right. Even grown men are just a bunch of little boys on the inside. All right, so I got those done. I'm gonna turn these off. All right, it's time to pull the corn. Put it over here. Keep it warm. All right, nice little flat spot. This thing is just. It it was made by somebody that does this for a living. All right, look at that. So the reason I did these on the grill instead of in foil or something is because I wanted that nice crispy skin with those crispy fins. Ah, oh, it's gonna be good. All right, so I think those are good too. So I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna put those on the warm inside. Shut all that down, get it all closed. So again, right, uh, I'm gonna go plate these things and I'm gonna eat. Uh, if you liked it, make sure you hit that like button. If you didn't, well, I don't, I don't really know what to tell you. I mean, I thought I did a really good job. So uh, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, 
I'll catch you on the next one. I don't know how many more barbecue videos I'm going to do, but there might be some a few more out there. It's one of my passions. All right, guys. Catch you on the next one.